Sitting at the crossroads of Europe and Asia, Azerbaijan is strategically positioned close to Iran, Turkey, and Russia with a major asset to the east. This is Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan. Located on the Caspian Sea, the country is one of the world's major oil producers, and Baku is the country's economic center. Azerbaijan is a source for about uh, between anything between quarter to one third of the oil cons uh, import to Israel. And this flow of high quality oil is very important for the state of Israel. Oil isn't the only thing flowing between the two countries. According to Azeri President Ilham Aliyev, Azerbaijan has purchased nearly $5 billion worth of weapon systems from Israel. And this is important for Azerbaijan to maintain its defense and its existence in a very uh, challenging uh, strategic environment. CBN News talked with Israel's ambassador to Azerbaijan, Dan Stav, about his efforts to diversify the economic cooperation between the two countries. Israel can be of help, especially in the development of the agricultural sector, which is a top priority of the government. And we have a cooperation with medical institutes and medical domain in general, education, IT. And the relationship goes beyond economy and defense. To be an ambassador to Azerbaijan is a special privilege as the relations between the Jewish people and the Azeri people preceded the, the relations between the two states. And the mountainous Jewish community, according to some historical account, preceded Islam, Christianity. The first Jews, according to some uh, myth, uh, arrived to Azerbaijan after the destruction of the Northern Kingdom of Israel in 722 before Christ. The vast majority of the population is Shiite Muslim, but it's a secular country. For generations, the Jewish community has felt at home. And since its independence, Azerbaijan has had good relations with Israel. For centuries, Jews and Azerbaijanis lived in peace, friendship, and continue to live here in Azerbaijan. And the Jewish community of Azerbaijan is a very active part of our society. They contribute a lot to the development of modern Azerbaijan. The attitude that you've shown to Jewish people in Azerbaijan over, over the years. The world sees so much intolerance, so much darkness, and here is an example of what relations can be and should be between Muslims and Jews everywhere. Some 70,000 Azeri Jews have immigrated to Israel, and Netanyahu sees them as a bridge between the two countries. Many regularly visit their homeland. You don't do it if you come from a, an environment that infested with anti-Semitism. The two countries have had diplomatic relations since 1992, after the fall of the Soviet Union. We don't consider uh, Muslims as our enemies, and Azerbaijan is a proof that this is not the case. In sharp contrast, Iran is the other Shiite Muslim majority country in the neighborhood. There are such talking differences between the two countries. And uh, Azerbaijan showed that it's not a matter of Shia. Despite years of animosity, Stav said there's a growing understanding among Muslim states in the region. Israel is not an enemy, and its cooperation can be very beneficial. Their hope is that this example of Muslim and Jew standing together will serve as an anchor of stability in the Middle East. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem.